Okay, as carp fishing becomes more popular, there's more guys on the bank, the fish are more pressured, and it's even more difficult these days to give those carp something a little bit different to give yourself an edge. But what I'm gonna do is show you something now that does exactly that. This is armor mesh. It's a mesh material that you can wrap around different baits, baits that you might not think you can use as a hook bait to form different hook baits, different alternatives. Comes in two different sizes. It comes in a 14 mil and a 22 mil. And it also comes in a fine mesh and a heavier mesh. The fine mesh, that's really suitable for wrapping around little particles like hemp or soft baits like sweet corn. And then the heavier material, that's really good for trying to protect your baits. Maybe you're going to France, you might be facing crayfish or something like that. You can wrap it around a boilie, gives it a little bit of protection. But you might be fishing at home here and fishing a lake where you've got lots of diving birds and there's ducks and stuff picking up your hook baits all the time. And they might be breaking off soft boilies or anything off the hair. This heavy one, you can give yourself a little bit of protection. So let me show you some of the uses. Got a few rigs that I've prepared here. First of which, just put a little bit of armor mesh around a boilie there just to give it a little bit more firmness a little bit more protection like I say from maybe pecking birds or crayfish or anything like that and then after that the sky's the limit whatever you can think of you can pretty much put it in this I've got pellets there some little response pellets just grouped a few together in the armor mesh give myself a nice little 14 mil round hook bait And then if you're fishing over a spod mix, it's just easy. Just take a little handful of what you're spodding out, put it in the armor mesh. Got a little bit of pigeon conditioner particles here. Just put them down in the armor mesh. Got a nice little hook bait that's going to match my spod mix. I like to say, perfect if you're using soft baits like this. Probably eight to ten grains of corn in there made a nice little round sweet corn hook bait. Carp love sweet corn, and how many people are gonna be casting out one of these into the lake? So that's some of the uses. I'll just show you how it works. I've got the 14 mil fine version here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of hemp down into the funnel, and just compress that with the plunger. Give yourself a nice tight Bait, just exclude that with a the plunger there and then just like you would with a if you're making a little funnel web PVA bag just compress it a little give it a twist simple overhand knot just to seal that off and then just tie a second one just so that the arm mesh is ready to use for another hook bait Just with a pair of scissors, I'll cut between the two knots just to separate. And now I've got myself a nice little hemp hook bait. Just like you would with a boilie or any other hook bait. Just pass your baiting needle through. Thread the bait onto a hair. And then as a hair stop, these pellet pegs are really really good for the armor mesh because they get deep inside the hook bait with a nice wide peg across the top so you're not going to lose your hook bait off the hair and just trim one of them off like that just get this through the loop like so pull that down inside the hook bait and there you go how many people are using a hook bait like that? Nice little ball of hemp there, just straight forward grains of hemp, straight out your spod mix. And it doesn't stop there. You can use anything that's in your spod mix. The sky's the limit. Even pieces of tuna, bread, a good tip. Put a few bits of cork in, gives yourself a little bit of buoyancy. Just have a little play around. You can get a nice little critically plants balanced bait. But anyway, there you go, hemp hook bait. Let's put it in the edge, let's put it over a bit of spod mix and I can show you how good this looks. So there you go, look at that. Something that's different from the crowds, something that's different from what everybody else is going to be casting into the lake. Gives you a nice little edge, simple yet effective. And on top of that, you've got a hook bait there that's going to fool the most wariest of carp. 
blends in with all the other little freebies. Any feeding carp is not going to suspect a thing. It's just going to suck up that hook bait, hit the lead, and you're going to be into a fish.